item in cheap. I've been with my husband for 18 years. Married 13. Been having an affair for 10. I'm so depressed. I need help. Gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. This woman clearly is not an affair that lasted nearly a decade. That is absolutely sad. To answer a question as to why men cheat, men cheat because they are not getting the sexual access that they want in a relationship. And I think it's pretty much that simple. Women have a much more convoluted and difficult answer for this, but I think that's the case with men. You know, you can still love a woman, but be out of the relationship and have your fun. Uh, even though I really do not recommend this, uh, instead, you know, strengthen the relationship that you do have, get the sex life that you do want. That's just what I see. In any case, Let's start it. Uh, let's start this compilation off. It's dating after divorce, and let's just do a quick check. Oh, not a pretty sight. What else do you have to say? I'm not eating. I just don't understand why. This woman knew he was married. He hasn't been in the house in a month. I haven't left the house in a month. I feel like I'm dying. I just don't understand how anybody could make anybody feel so bad. I need some help. And I need some support. I really need to get through this. Lady, TikTok is not going to help you. You need to get out of the situation that you're in because depression is just staying in the same episode of sadness and not moving on. Um, a terrible thing to happen to men or women, but at the same time, sitting around and complaining on TikTok isn't going to solve your problems. It's the sad reality. Not much more. Okay. So anybody out there just gave me some advice? I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Are you? Yeah, what happened happened. Uh, you need to get out of there. Divorce. Move on with your life. I don't know what happened here, <laughs> to be honest with you, but... In any case, you know, lack of sexual access will definitely do that to people, or if you're not the best person, which watching a one and a half minute TikTok is not going to give me the answers to that. Either way, uh, let's make sure this one's in frame. Your old woman. Dating after divorce, fuck boy problems. Are you a happy, healthy, and successful divorcee who's only attracting one night stands and fuck boys? This might be why. You are empowered, you are driven, you are ambitious, and you are sexually <laughs> liberated. The problem is if you're leading with your sexuality, you are only going to attract guys who want you sexually. I know this from personal experience. I did not like the kind of guys that I was attracting. So I pulled my sexual energy back into my personal container and I started to lead with my character and core values. Into your personal container. Oh my lord, this is coming from the woman that has milk and blood tattooed on her bicep or something. Oh my lord, these women. You need help. Go to a, go to a therapist. You need help. 
something amazing happen. I started to attract high caliber guys who wanted to have deep intellectual conversations about my goals and my business. So this is your invitation to reflect on where you're leading with your sexuality and what kind of results are you getting? It might be time to pull your sexual energy back and see what happens. Because the truth is, if you want to attract a high caliber partner to co-create a healthy, sustainable relationship with, that relationship needs to be built upon character compatibility, not sexual chemistry. What are we playing? A dirty version of Skyrim or something? Like, character compatibility. Choose your player. It's with the language that these women use. Oh, it's just so delusional. I really doubt that she's pulling high caliber intellectual guys, and if they are, they're probably betas. Let's move on. Hey everyone, um, just Hi. wanted to check in. It's been a long time since I made a video. Okay. Um, I have been dating, not sure. several <laughs> different guys, um, but I've been dating one man, not a boy y'all, a man, um, for the past three months or so. So uh, we kind of made it official. We're exclusively dating and um, both of us are off the market and uh, I'm really happy. Uh, he makes me really happy. So, um, I just... You sound really tired, or it's just not the case. I just wanted to put this out there, um, if you've seen some of my other videos. Maybe you just need a pair of glasses, you're squinting into the sun. <laughs> I had a hard time with dating, and I went through some really bad guys. Um, and I didn't think that I'd be able to find the one, but, um... I just wanted to give you ladies out there some hope that, you know, there are good men out there. And um, my deal was I kept... Okay, before you finish that sentence. Yeah, I don't know if those were bad guys or guys that just saw you as an easy layup after COVID or something. <laughs> I don't know how old this video is, but I can imagine that. Some people are just so desperate to get their nuts off after not doing that for years or so that they'll put in any anyone that comes near them. Anyways, don't do that. Don't do that. Just don't. Guys, don't. Gravitating towards these toxic guys, boys, that just not really treated me bad, but had um, traits or characteristics um, that were just going to be red flags, like either right off the bat or along the line. I knew they weren't going to be good for me, but for some reason I felt like I could help them or fix them in some kind of way. That's just kind of the guys that I've always gravitated towards. Um, I'm still trying to understand that. Um, Go watch the Disney movie Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> This one probably watched that hundreds of times when she was a child, while she was snacking down on popcorn. Yeah. Oh. Look what happened there. But this man, I took a chance and took a, tea, uh, a leap of faith and went for a nice guy. <laughs> and it has worked out for me. And... I don't know. I mean, I thought at first, oh, I'm going to be bored. He's too nice, you know. Um, yeah, exactly. I don't see this relationship turning out that well, especially if all you're thinking about are the bad boys in your past. But, you know, I gave him a chance, and... He gave you a chance, ladies, too. Ladies, y'all have to go out and just choose that nice guy because oh, he'll surprise you, and um, you do deserve that. And that man does too so hopefully this gives y'all some hope um so i don't know things are going well hopefully you'll be hearing from me again soon with positive vibes so y'all have a great yeah this just shows that even fat women can pull men 
nice guys. Apparently, even the chat sometimes. I don't know. I don't want to believe it. Anyways, we're going to wrap things up here. We've been on this for uh, 10 minutes now. <laughs> don't really have any closing thoughts. Apparently, this was dating after divorce. I don't know if that what last woman was a divorcee, but that's just how these clips go sometimes. Frankly, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to move on with my life and get to the next video. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell if you want the notification that the episodes are coming out. Because you never know. YouTube might not place them in your home or your recommended or your subscribes. Who knows what their algorithm, right? Anyways, always do your due diligence. Be careful dating women that are dating after divorce. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.